big shout out to Lemon Llama and Taco for the help and also the contributions of all the Titan 2 community. I'll put a link in the description below, link in this guide from Lemon Llamas to this video. Give them support and love and any help and I'll go through the whole guide now. Now, what is equipment? Equipment are wearable items that are dropped by bosses every 20 stages after stage 55. There are five types of equipment, sword, helmet, chest, aura and slash these equipment change the appearance of your sword master you can transmorph your equipment after beat stage 1000 transmorphing equipment is to swap an equipment's appearance with the visual of another equipment that you have discovered along your journey while still retaining the exact same bonuses and enhancements you're able to have one type of equipment active at any time but hold up to 100 total items for later use there are five varieties of equipment common rare equipment legendary and mythic the more rare the item the higher the bonus given of the same level because of the limited amount of equipment slot is recommended to sell any equipment that provides a worse bonus than the best one you have in the slot selling equipment gives you one diamond for common five for rare one five or 25 for event equipment depending on the type of equipment and 25 diamonds for legendary and 100 diamonds for mythic there's several ways to attain equipments drop from titan bosses the titan boss health bar will appear blue knowing that there is equipment item about to drop daily achievements brought from the shop from wooden or silver chests from the shop or from crafting from shards what is crafting when the with the introduction to mythic equipment in version 2.5 which the mythic items which are four times stronger than legend equipment there was a new way to obtain mythic items and this is through equipment crafting equipment crafting is done by the crafting window in the equipment tab and acquires special resources called crafting shards crafting shards can be obtained through tournaments titan chests daily rewards legend equipment and set bundles which are available on major updates. Every equipment variety with the exception of common equipment have their own special equipment sets which grant special stat bonuses when completed. As long as you have one equipment before, it will count towards respective equipment set. In version 2.9, crafting shards costs for equipment increase the more equipment you have unlocked towards a set with no duplicate pieces there's also a new system called crafting power which increases the effect of your equipment set bonuses the more crafting shards you spend in total equipment secondary enhancements in version 2.7 a new boost equipment was added the secondary enhancement Depending on which equipment type you have, you have special bonuses for these equipment. You get more bonuses the higher equipment rarity. Commons get no enchantments. Rare and event equipment get one. Legendary equipment get two. And mythic equipment gets three. Enhancements are random and chosen upon receiving the equipment. Slightly weaker equipment with better enhancements for your builds than stronger equipment is always the better choice. The table below shows all the current secondary enhancements for each equipment type. So for sword, if you get, for example, a mythic, so you can get three secondary bonuses, either heavenly strike, deadly strike, fire sword damage, war cry, or shadow damage. It'd be one or more of those or of those five choices for helmets it'll be non bonus damage boss damage ground hero damage flying hero damage and inactive damage so it'd be one or more of a mixture of those choices and chest is hand of madas gold the heart of madas gold fairy gold perk gold in an active gold aura will be chest and chance mini mana chance times 10 chest and ten gold chance times 10 boss gold chance and multiple fairy chance for slash it's critical chance deadly strike multiple spawn chance, portal chance, and all probabilities. I've also done videos in several different builds guides from clan, ship, pets, heavenly strike, amongst others. I'll put a link to it, to those builds in the description above. When you go through your builds, you see me talk about the secondary bonuses and how that affects your builds. This is why it's important to look at this equipment because it does affect your build and your power. So keep a concentration on that. Mythic set gives you the most secondary bonus and also provides a 1.5 relic bonus from a completed set. You want to aim to get as many completed mythic sets first before any others. Never craft a set you've already finished. It's always better to spend those shards on a new set and get that set bonus. Always craft a set 
because of the set bonus, not the equipment type. You outgrow the equipment eventually, but the set bonuses are permanent boosts. If you already completed all sets, try to save 700 shards. This will allow you to immediately complete the next Mythic sets when it's released. If you already have all the sets and have over 700 shards, look to purchase new equipment to upgrade your existing ones. And if you've completed all the sets and want to craft more equipment, be sure to check all the different equipment sets that have the bonus you're looking for. Some equipments are stronger than others, so be sure to use the one that gives you the largest boost. Now these are going to go through all the current mythic sets items available from update 3.1. So the first one is the ancient warrior set. This is best for farming and pushing power right in the game right now. In addition to the 50% relic boost and the universal beneficial war cry bonus, it also doubles the attack speed of your shadow clone, clan ship and pet. This means you can both push harder due to additional attacks and you can also farm faster. More chances to land splash skip attacks and more deadly strike procs when pushing. Even for those builds that don't use these as their damage source, you can benefit greatly from this set when combining it with anchoring shot for lots of extra buffs, stun and more consistent damage boost. If you want an immediate boost in power and can't decide on which set to choose, this is where you should start. Then you've got the Angelic Guardian. The Angelic Guardian is extremely powerful for its farming power. In addition to the 50% relic boost, the Heavenly Strike boost also increases your max splash cap by 8. This speeds up your regular play by a good amount, especially if you use a splash through boss's source with where this additional splash would let you splash through more stages in one go. Although the damage boost is provided isn't universal, this is definitely an amazing set to complete. The Mechanized Sword Mythic set is by far the strongest mythic set, but it requires you to be further in the game to realize the benefits. It gives two times all damage boost per mythic set when you complete it, also reduces the cost of your passive skills by 25%. This may not be a large boost to new players, but long-term players will receive an enormous bonus from this. It's the same as being able to increase your passive skill by 25%, which means 25% more intimidating presence, as well as splash skips from anti-titan cannons, mystic impact, and power surge. While you don't want to get this as your first set, it's an absolutely essential bonus for players who want to fast farm when transitioning into the late game. Treasure Hunter. Where Aztec Warrior provides the greatest boost for farming and pushing power, Treasure Hunter provides the greatest boost to your diamonds and equipment set progression. In addition to 50% relic boost and universal beneficial hands of Madas boost, also increases the chance of getting a rare legendary mythic drop equipment by 50%, with the estimated drop chance of 6.25 for rares, 1.5 chance for legendaries, and 0.1 chance for mystics. On average, you receive 32.98 diamonds per day by farming with your 20 daily farming equipment, but with Treasure Hunter, you'll receive 39.47 diamonds per day on average. And this may not sound like a big deal, but in the case of getting some equipment that we can't use at all, now the real kick is that the Treasure Hunter also helps you finish all your other sets while you get more rares, legendaries, and mythics to replace your existing equipment. It may not directly provide as much as the other sets, but its ability to complete other sets allow you to save crafting shards and buy more pets, clan hits, chests, or other nice things. This is a great first set for people who want to see a gradual boost over time and it's also a very solid second for those who are investing. Dark Predator. Dark Predator has the same relic boost and almost universal deadly strike bonuses but it doesn't top our list for best sets because of its last effect. Dark Predator allows you to gain deadly strike bonuses when using Starlet March this is a massive boost, far stronger than any other set listed here if you play the Silent March exclusively. However, this only applies for Silent March players. Get this if you use Silent March a lot, a lot otherwise it's a low priority. Fatal Samurai. Fatal Samurai is a good boost for push and power, although the bonus is mostly noticeable for people who already own a large number of pets. In addition to the 50% relic bonus and near universal beneficial fire sword bonus, it also increases the level of your active pet by 25%. This is notable pushing power and you can use a gold pet until you cannot push anymore, then switch to a damaged pet to get even further. However, the real reason why people shouldn't sleep on this one is it also boosts your fluffers level. Getting 25% mana regen boost is good enough, but if you move to a new pet bonus by 
pass and a 20 level mark, you get even more mana on top of that. Definitely one of the better sets, although I wouldn't prioritize it over something directly relevant to your build if your mana needs are being met. And last mythic set, Ruthless Necromancer. The Ruthless Necromancer is arguably the weakest of all mystic sets right now, unless you use Shadow Clone as your main damage source. As the same standard relic boost, uh, boost but it's 100% times active skill in Shadow Clone, which only helps Shadow Clone and some Heavenly Strike builds. Finally, its ability associated with that only benefits Shadow Clone builds. This allows Shadow Clone to smash through bosses, which helps remove one of the Shadow Clone's greatest weaknesses for speed. In the past, Shadow Clone was never able to smash through bosses unlike every other build so it's a slower build as a result with this set shadow clone can progress faster than can ship or pet builds with the perfect luck it can rival the speed of heavenly strike can give if you have decided that you want to use shadow clone as your main damage tools for future this is a fantastic set to own now the legendary sets thundering deity set allows snap to spawn with snap effect is active and it allows us to have two snap attacks active at once this means rather than halving the number of titans per stage, you are quartering the number of titans per stage. This can drastically speed up the prestiges for people with low amounts of splash skip, especially for those first tournament prestiges where Porter cannot spawn. This set also gives some bonus snap chance to help keep those snap stacks active. Of note, the Mac the max snap effects stack offered by Thunder and Derity is unaffected by craft and power, making it the first legendary set to have a static bonus. Eternal Monk. The Eternal Monk, Monk set increases your porter chance and has the unique effect of increasing porter stage skip, which allows you to farm faster. This is good for all players and should be one of the priority sets to complete. This boost for porter also allows players to porter push further, helps players exceed soft walls. Shadow Disciple. The Shadow Disciple set gives you a boost to your deadly strike, inactive dam damage and inactive gold, plus also boosting your multi-spawn chance. This is great for players who use inactive builds since the multi-spawn chance will increase your inactive speed. It also adds additional level of consistency for players who use ambush to speed up their runs. The chance is also excellent for people who use multi-spawn chestin as their main gold source. Anniversary Platinum increases all splash skip by 10%, which is similar to saying that you can smash faster and further than usual. This set is absolutely amazing at speeding up farming runs as it can help you free up skill points in heavy strike and shadow claim builds for other boosts. This is also a good boost for companion damage with, which boosts your shadow claim pets and clan ship damages. Defiant Spell Slinger. The Defiant Spell Slinger gives you a boost to your Shadow Clone, Heavenly Strike, and Hands of Medaskill. Also gives you a percentage of your spent mana back when you activate the skill. This is good for all builds, especially for Shadow Clone and Heavenly Strike due to high damage and high mana needs. Titan Attacker. The Titan Attacker reduces the delay between Titan spawns by 10%. Also gives you a bonus to fundamental damage to boost your tap damage and all hero damage. This is a priority to get because it speeds up how fast you can farm. Just note the Titan spawn delay reduced is multiple active which with adrenaline rush. So instead of just getting 65% degrees from adrenaline rush, it will be 71.5 reduced delay. Frost Warden. The Frost Warden set gives you a boost to all hero, clan ship and war cry damages. Also boosting your chest and chance. This is great for players who use all builds and especially helps players who use chest and or fairy gold as their main goal. Old source chain clockwork chain clockwork increases your shadow clone damage and has the old ability of the ruthless necromancer set increases the number of special attempts that shadow clone does each second which also increases the amount of mana that mana self can give you it also increases the speed that your lightning strike will reduce the health of a titan not necessarily a priority to get if you don't use shadow clone mana siphon or lightning strike but it's still a useful set bonus Captain Titan. Captain Titan gives you a boost to your tap, fire sword and pet damages, plus also boosting your critical chance. This is great for players who use pet, shadow clone or heavenly strike builds and also helps players use cleave and strike without worrying about running out of critical chance. Amazon Princess. The Amazon Princess boosts each of your equipment giving you a good bonus to push and power doesn't change how you play the game and the perk gold bonus is essentially useless. 
The Sly Wolf is an extremely strong set for Sight March players. It gives you more inactive damage and a 50% increase in inactive progression speed. This is like the Ancient Warrior Mythic set for Sight March players. I would argue that Sight March exclu exclusive players should get this immediately after Duck Predator. For players who don't use Sight March, you can ignore it. Corrupted Emerald Knight. Corrupted Emerald Knight boosts each of your pets that give you damage boost, giving a good bonus to push and power. However, that's not what makes it special. In addition to the universal powerful damage bonus, it also reduces the cooldowns of your lightning burst, flash zip, and heart of Midas by 30%. This is a huge quality of life boost for players who use heart of Midas as a main gold source, and pet players can get some serious speed when chained together with lightning burst. Especially good for pet players, who are still useful as a set for anyone. Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer boosts each of your active skills, giving additional damage and gold to each build. Additionally, it increases your maximum mana by 50, allowing you to the, allowing you to use those skills more often. Very useful, especially if you want enough mana to cast all level 25 skills at once. Anniversary Gold. Anniversary Gold gives all damage and all gold, useful for literally anything, but doesn't change how you play the game at all. Rares. They give you damage and give you sets that bonus your main damage type, but rares are common enough. I uh, wouldn't bother spending in crafting shards and getting rares. They drop quite often, so save these shards for mythics. And if you get all the mythics, then move on to legendaries. But I'll go for all the rares that are currently in the game from 3.1 updates. So starting off, you've got the Blessed Bishop. The Blessed Bishop just gets you a times 5 0.951 heavenly strike damage. The solar paragon gives you a times 5.951 pet damage. The midnight raven gives you a times 5.951 shadow clone damage. The viking king gives you a times 5.951 tap damage. The cybernetic enhancements gives you a times 5 9.51 all hero damage. And the phantom presence gives you times 5.9.51 critical damage. Events. Gives you better bonus than rare items, but can only get them from limited time during events. During events, these drop very often, so there's no point spending shards getting them. And sometimes events, they can be bought as a set from the shop. Again, they can only, they're only event driven, so the bonuses are quite good, but they're quite rare to get. So you start off, you've got the Hartley Queen, it gives you times 11.9 critical damage. Then you've got the Rockstar, which gives you times 11.9 clan ship damage. We have Defender of the Egg, which gets you times 11.9 pet damage. The Heartbreaker, which gave you plus 59.51 multiple fairy chance. The Snow Master, which gives you times 11.9 all hero damage. Lunar Festival set, which gives you times 11.9 boss gold. Sledge Season, which gives you 11 times 9 all hero damage. Toxic Slayer, which gives you times 11.9 tap damage. Then you've got the Scarecrow Jack, which gives you 11.9 Shadow Clone damage, and Surf Strike, which gets you times 11.9 Chest and Gold. Now there are other items you can collect throughout the game by drops, um, which are not full sets, but you do get them just by playing regularly. Here are the full lists I've come across so far since up to 3.1 update. I just thought I'll show you other things you might have missed, because you probably noticed in this one, these are all swords ones, equipment I've collected. So it's quite cool ones on there, like the Valentine Rose, Christmas tree, and the Swordmaster upon Swordmaster, which is quite nice. Also, this is the full list of all the equipment items I've found. Again, there's a couple of things that are not in the sets, but they're quite fun collectible drops. You've got the chicken head there, reindeer antlers, Christmas hat, a bunch of other weird stuff in there. And the old trash equipment, a bunch of stuff I've collected. There's meant to be a chicken suit in there, some ninja gear, Amazon princess, and some aura stuff collected. See, there's a comic one the thunder power one which is quite cool but lights so these stuff these stuff do drop in game eventually after you just continue playing and the slash equipment these are all items that i've collected now these are the sets i recommend you get by build so these are on priority order first from top to bottom so if you've got a pet build i recommend get the ancient warrior then angelic guardian mechanized sword eternal mark treasure hunter anniversary platinum corrupted emerald knight titan attacker thundering deity fatal samurai dark predator and the ruthless necromancer 
If you're going for clan ship build, I recommend get the Ancient Warrior first, then the Angelic Guardian Mechanized Sword, Eternal Monk, Treasure Hunter, Anniversary Platinum, Titan Attacker, Thunder Deity, Dark Predator, Fatal Samurai, and Ruthless Necromancer. If you got a Shadow Clone build, get the Ancient Warrior, Ruthless Necromancer, Angelic Guardian, Mechanized Sword, Eternal Monk, Treasure Hunter, Anniversary Platinum, Titan Attacker, Thundering Deity, Fatal Samurai, and Dark Predator. And Heavenly Strike build, get the Ancient Warrior, Angelic Guardian, Mechanized Sword, Eternal Monk, Treasure Hunter, Anniversary Platinum, Thundering Deity, Defiant Spell Slinger, Fatal Samurai, Dark Predator, Ruthless Recomancer, and Titan Attacker. And lastly, if you're doing the Sight March build, get the Dark Predator and the Sly Wolf, and then follow your main damage tools suggestions for the rest. That's the full breakdown of all the equipment types, variants, and the builds, and suggestions about which ones you should get first, depending on which damage source, gold source, or which build you're using. I hope this video has been helpful. If, it, if it's helped in any way, give a thumbs and a like up and subscribe. I will be releasing tap titan videos every week, so hit that bell notification to keep you updated. Comment below if you've got any suggestions of any other builds or guides you'd like to see, and thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.